All right, today's video, what I want to do for you guys is give you three things you can do to renovate and upgrade your coupe today. And this can be if you're starting a new coupe, three ideas that you're gonna want, or even for your coupe that you have now, these are three things that you can do to improve it right now. One of the very first things I think that you should add to your coupe if you can do it, is add a rainwater collection system for your coupe. Adding a rainwater collection system is a very good thing to do and it's really not that hard to make. So this is something that I put together. Have to clear it out a little bit. Nice. That's the problem when you live by a whole bunch of woods. A rainwater system is not a hard thing to put together and it's very convenient and very good for your chickens. Two things that you're gonna love to have. So a rainwater collection system is a very easy thing to put together. I won't have the name of this on the top of my head at the moment, but I'll try to put it in the description below. But I attached this, you can find it in the roofing section at your hardware Home Depot type stores. And I made it so it slants just slightly downwards this way. So it can go into this PVC piping I attached. The PVC piping travels down, loops right in here to our collection bucket, and this is where the water is stored. It's not fun if you don't have rainwater really close, so it's amazing to come out here and be able to do something like this. Oh no, my chickens are out of water. Come here, turn this, and there you go, you have water. So if you, like I said, our hose is attached to the front of our house, so it's a very inconvenient process for us to go all the way in there, turn it on, and then put it in here, or carry out a bucket of water to them all the time. So we've been loving having this attached to our coop, because now all we gotta do is bring the bucket here, turn it on, and then they have water for them. Especially right now during the summer as they're going through water nonstop. Sometimes we have to bring out ice cubes for it so that they get a little bit of colder water. But a rainwater collection system is definitely something that you'd like to add to your coop. And the positives, unlike your gutter, maybe for your roofs, these ones are very easy to clean out because you can just kind of reach up and clean them out. So it doesn't take much effort to clean them out. No maintenance. And like I said, I was able to put this up here in about an hour to get all that done. So something that you want to add to your coop first thing. All right, and the second thing that you can add to your coop Right above my head. It's like it's a good idea. Ding! A solar powered light to light up your coop. Now, I say solar powered for many reasons. One, you don't need any electricity, so you don't need to run any kind of cords out here to plug it in. That's not convenient. And the second thing that's good about it is that you don't need to do batteries, so you don't need to learn when you need to change them, when they run out. You don't have to worry about any of that. So that's why I think solar powered is the best for it. It's powered by the sun, and now, I mean, here in Michigan, we don't see that much during the winter time, but at least during the summer, that's gonna get powered very well, and we'll have light and don't have to worry about it. So the reason that you want a light for your coupe, though, more than just to light it up so that you have it and so that whatever the case might be, I think it's nice for free-ranging chickens so that they can see where their coop is when it's nighttime, but it's actually gonna be protection for your chickens. And what I mean by protection for your chickens, it's not gonna fight off anything, obviously. It doesn't have any arms. Usually a light, what it'll do is it'll scare away a predator. This isn't motion censored, which actually would be a lot better for protection. So if you would like a solar powered one that's motion detected, that would be even better for your chickens. But any kind of light usually will scare away a predator. They don't like being seen. What they do usually, obviously being a predator, they wanna try to sneak up on what they're going for and a light kind of shines down on them and kind of leaves them more out into the open. So usually a light like this would scare them away, hopefully. But over time, since this will just stay lit up, they'll learn and pick up on that. We really like the look of this light. So that's the reason that we kind of wanted to go with this one as well. And it'll do a little bit of protection, but we also just wanted light since we have to walk a little bit out to our coop at night. So it's nice to have the light out here when we go to close up the coop and make sure they're locked up for the night. And the third thing that you can add to your coop right now, even for your existing coop, something to help renovate it up, we have to go onto the inside for it. So let's do this. No, you can't see it yet probably, but I'm gonna show you. A lot of people, what they do actually for their coops, and this is such a great idea, is they put a vinyl flooring down on the base of their coop. And they have a lot of different types of these. You can do stick ones, you could do the plank board ones. We had plank board ones from the renovations that we did on the inside of our house. And so I had leftover ones anyways. So what I did is I put them in the chicken coop.
And you may ask yourself, why do you need to do that? I don't do it for looks. Although I'm not gonna lie, I like how it looks for them. The reason that you wanna do it is wood and poop or wetness really sticks down in the wood sometimes. You got a nice shot of my chicken there through the other wood door. Having vinyl flooring helps it just slide right off so much easier than it would be if you have a wood flooring. As you can see, as I was just pushing with that broom, everything just slides off so easy. So we are so happy that when we go to clean this coop, it makes it half the amount of time to clean it, to be honest with you guys. All you have to do is just shove it with that broom. You could wipe if you needed to, and it would wipe off so much easier than it would be for wood where it's going to get stuck. So that is something that we are super happy to have. And final flooring, if you haven't done it before, it's pretty easy to do. It doesn't really involve many tools, which is nice. You could do it with just like a mallet hammer for the most part, to be honest, and the vinyl plank flooring. They have a few other tools and I had to use my jigsaw to cut the wood so that you had it for the right sizes that you need and everything. The vinyl flooring for your chicken coop makes it super convenient. And like I said before, it's something that doesn't take a lot of effort again. And this are, you could put all three of these things into your coop in just one day. And there you have three things that you can add to your coop that's gonna help it be more convenient and also give you benefits that you didn't think that you might need for the chicken coop and you're gonna like having those things around. Quick couple small things though that maybe you can add to it. As you can see, we have a very big door that allows us to actually go inside and access the coop. I understand people have smaller coops. If you have a smaller coop that you're building for yourselves maybe or anything like that, make sure that you build if you have a small coop that you're not gonna be able to fit into, make sure you build it small enough where you can access the whole thing with like a broom so that you can make sure that you're able to get into that whole area because you're gonna wanna keep it clean. Another little thing that you wanna do, make sure you don't forget to add a window. Ventilation for a chicken coop, especially during the summertime is super important, not just for you to smell all that, but for the chickens actually. Smelling all their own stinkiness inside the coop can really be bad for their respiratory system. So. Make sure you add a window and then I think it's convenient if you can actually kind of access inside the coop the best you can. All right, everybody, I'd like to thank you guys again for watching. I hope that you were able to take something out of this. I, like I said, I wanted to try to find three things I felt like were pretty easy, but also made everything convenient. It also gave you extra benefits that you didn't think you needed for your chicken coop. But these are things that will just make life so much easier and make owning chickens easier. So water system so that they have water a light for protection and also for you just to have a light so that they know where their coop is. And vinyl flooring, another benefit for you to make sure that you can clean it easier. And that will also benefit your chickens so that they don't get any kind of respiratory disease that if you don't be able to clean it as well. So thank you guys. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. We'll see you in the next vlog.